Atlassian Confluent is an intranet software and Requirement Yogi is a tool to manage requirements in this intranet. We are going to explain everything about importing and defining requirements. There are three ways to create requirements in Requirement Yogi. If you are writing specifications, create a table and press Alt Shift R, Requirement Yogi will automatically suggest a new unique key. The second way to create requirement keys is to select a column in a table and press Alt Shift R. It will create requirements in bulk. The last way is if you've already saved the page. Notably, if you work with the Word document, we recommend that you copy paste the contents into Confluence one page for every chapter. After the page is saved and you are in view mode, you can select a text key, press Alt Shift R and transform this key into requirements. It will even suggest to transform all similar keys to requirements. It will even suggest to transform all other references to this requirement into links. The inline transformation is a powerful tool if you are annotating a document that is already written. A few tips. Make sure you select the key of the requirement without any white space, not the text of the requirement, just the key of the requirement. Make sure there is a header row. And if the same number exists several times on the page, then only the first one will be transformed as the requirement definition, and all of the references will become links to the first one. Format. Requirement keys must be composed of letters, hyphen, underscore, period, and numbers. Spaces are not allowed. Letters with accent are not allowed. Russian or Chinese characters are not allowed. We know it is sad, but requirement keys are used in links, and we want to ensure that you'll always be able to access your requirements. Unicity. Requirements are unique per space. Unique per space. Requirement Yogi will never suggest to create requirements that already exist. If you attempt to create a requirement that already exists, only a link to this requirement will be created. Links can be identified with the link label on the macro or with the little caret when you view the page. There are a few edge cases where the same requirement can be defined on two different pages. We are working on avoiding these situations, so if this is important to you, please check the documentation about our status on that. Properties Every column of the table becomes a property of the requirement. The whole line also becomes the text of the requirement. Properties are an efficient way to tag, label and sort requirements. For example, if you define a column named category, it defines a category property. You can then click on the value and it lists all requirements in this category. There are rules for which properties are searchable. The name of the property must be one word. This is because the syntax of the search query is Arobas plus this name, so you can't put a space in it. There should be only Latin characters and numbers. No accent, no special character, no more than 80 characters in length for the name. If your column names are not single words, then you can use the little ry property macro to rename them, which we will see on the next slide. There is no criteria on the value, but be aware that the value is stored in HTML. So it will keep the formatting, for example, the lozenge for the green status macro, but HTML will be visible in the search. So we said you could use the ry property macro to customize the title of columns. Here is how it works. Simply add the macro in the column and enter a new name for this macro. All values in the column will be registered for that given name. You can also use this macro to define which column or which columns are used for the text of the requirement. This is what the title checkbox is for. You can use the other checkboxes to ignore a column or just to ignore dependencies in a column. Finally, you can use this macro to put a property name and value. 
In that case, it assigns the name and the value to the requirement without any effect on the column. Actually, if all of your requirements need to have the same property, then you can click the checkbox named whole document and put the macro at the top or at the bottom of the page. One last word about the general formatting of requirements. Images. Requirements can include images, but only the link is saved. That means if you modify an image after creating a baseline of this requirement, then the latest version of the image will be displayed, not the older one. Also, for the image to be visible in Jira, the user needs to be logged into Confluence. As a general rule, requirements are not expected to rely on long text or images. The system is specifically designed so the user can see what the requirement talks about and then click on the requirement to see it in context with the full information. Likewise, it is possible to avoid using tables and define a requirement as a single line of text or as a chapter by putting it in the header. This is not recommended either. It works, but it is usually a bad pattern. It generally means that you are managing documents, whereas Requirement Yogi was designed to solve the problem of being able to link to a specific line inside of the document. And we are done with the definition of requirements. We'll soon add a video about integrating with Excel. Otherwise, you can proceed to the video about search and permissions.